hello my friends and welcome to my channel welcome if you're new in today's video i'm going to be taking you along with me i went to our local home since i live in ontario canada so our home goods i think it's the same store as home sense and i thought i'd show you what we have i was a tad bit disappointed because i did not find that they had a ton of decor but i'll show you what they have i will show you some prices and maybe you will find something that you like in here i did go this week so if you are watching this video when it was published you might be able to find some of these pieces still at the store I had a bit of a chuckle when I found this a turkey here. My friend Sandra from the Schwarman's Nest or DIYs at the Schwarman's Nest had made me this uh, turkey very similar uh, a while back and um, I thought it was kind of cute uh, that they had them now. I absolutely loved these large pumpkins here. The white ones, I... <laughs> One thing I walked away from this store was a ton of DIY inspiration of all the things that I could remake my current decor. These sand and fog candles are my absolute favorite. They are soy candles with essential oils, so they're supposed to be a little bit better for you. And I also absolutely love all the sweater pumpkins that they have had. Um, I think these are so great for my decor. Uh, I do have a lot of them and they are fairly easy to make if you were to DIY them yourself. And again, if you've been following along, you know I have so many pumpkins. Um, way more than I do Christmas trees and I have a lot of Christmas trees so I uh, was trying to restrain myself from purchasing all of these pumpkins but if I was to buy any of the, anything it would probably be these ones now this I had an idea I could probably make it from a, a um, blanket so i'm going to give it a try if you're not following me over on my diy channel make sure you head on over there because that's where i will be sharing all of my fall diys and then i will be using them in decorating my home so that will be showcased on this channel uh, I have been kind of debating which way to go uh, to with the decor. I'm kind of going more on the rustic, uh, lots of wood uh, and lots of fabric type of uh, decor. Um, going with that soft orange, soft brown, just like this. These pumpkins are like I think that's the more of a color. Uh, scheme that I'm going to be going kind of trying to stay away from the bright bright orange colors and also I think I am going kind of staying away from the white pumpkins and kind of like what the this setup is right here um, I think I'm kind of moving away from that kind of a look and going more into the browns and uh, soft pumpkins i liked this pumpkin i have a very similar one out of a sweater that was not a sweater that was uh i think it was like a plaster i love that maple leaf as well i thought that was a kind of cute gives that rustic woodsy feel so that i think that would probably be the way i would describe my um uh, the way my decor is going to go this year i thought this was so cute um i might head on over and pick this up because um it probably cost me less than actually making it myself so here is a bit of halloween as well i am not there yet i like to decorate more for fall and then a couple weeks before Halloween decorate for Halloween but I did have to show you my favorite section I absolutely love Jack Skellington I think he is so cute and um, I have Minnie and Mickey for fall 
so I was thinking maybe I should grab the Jack Skellington as well but we'll see now I have a bit of a more of excuse to add all of these Disney characters into my home since I do run a home daycare again so I thought this was a good excuse for that now moving back to more of the fall section I had seen um, some of the pumpkins here that resembled a lot in the pumpkins from the Dollar Tree but I also wanted to show you all those glass pumpkins I thought they were really really pretty and maybe I'll head on over and pick one of those up not the purple ones i wasn't a big fan of the purple ones um i do like these little small pumpkins um they were actually wooden but if you really wanted to uh, find ones they have ones very similar at the dollar tree and these were i think 16.99 so definitely would find them a bit cheaper at the dollar tree And now on to the florals is usually I am a bit disappointed in overall across the board in all of our stores when it comes to florals I think Michael's has probably the best selection but it's still not a great selection and the prices are pretty high unless you of course come when when they're on sale and they are on sale often I just find that um, if you're not there right when the sale starts, it does get picked through. I did, however, see these olive branches if anybody is looking for them. I did get mine at the Dollar Tree, and I think they work pretty well. But if you are looking for a bit longer ones, they have them. And here's some more. Um, lots of wheat. Um, they had a ton of wheat. I had bought a lot of wheat last year, so I don't need any more of that i wasn't crazy about any of the arrangements they they had made up already i'm not into i like more to create my own but they had lots if that's what you are looking for and this is i'm pretty sure the other side of the halloween aisle and i like that little black truck with the pumpkins i always love anything truck decor i'm still into that there were ladies working on a display uh, when I was there and one of the ladies names was Sonia and the other lady kept calling her it was totally throwing me off every time she called my name I well every time she said Sonia I thought she was calling my name I laughed when I saw this Hocus Pocus broom company sign because I have a very similar one that I got from tailored canvases um, that I use for my outdoor decor and I thought that that was kind of cute and let me show you these I absolutely love these I thought they were perfect for my decor um, I liked the how rustic they were and I thought they were great for your fall decor but you could also incorporate them into Halloween So one thing I walked away with was a ton of DIY ideas and a large bottle of pumpkin spice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!